So when you enter the room, you have the key card reader where you need to put your key card in and all the lights in the room will go on. I will show you in a minute. Then you continue, there is a door here for the bathroom, which I will show. This is the bed you will get, it's a very nice bed. You have a um, very comfy, I slept in it tonight, so that's why one side is used. One side is still not used. As you can see, they fold it in a bit of a weird way, in my opinion. You have two bed lights on the side. You have a clothes hanger and some like baskets or uh, storage underneath. There is no like storage above to hang your clothes in a closed uh, closet, but it's there's storage underneath. There's also a safe here with some instructions in all different languages that you can have, which is really cool. And there's also this bucket full of toys if you want to play a game with your friend or lover that's staying here. There is this big giant mirror which you can use for looking at yourself. Next to it is a clothes hanger for your jacket. If it's raining outside it's really nice that you don't need to hang your jacket with your normal clothes that you wear underneath your jacket. There is a lot of um, contact points to uh, charge your phone. There is one next to the bed and as well as three, if it's focusing, as well as three light um, switches and two USB ports above the um, port. Then there is some uh, art. There is TV which you can mirror cast to but uh, it didn't work for me. There is also still two uh, um, electricity ports. Uh, if you start the TV, I will do it, you will get this menu which says TV, radio, about us, the menu of the day, cast and manual. There is a radio and you can normally also have a Bluetooth pairing with it. So you can pair some Bluetooth with your TV. Uh, there is a small light here which I never used because I am not really into using those lights. And then there's these side tables which aren't side tables or more like small chairs but they work so that's fine for me. I mean it's still a hotel room. And then you have a big window for me looking out on the street which is the Holiday Inn Express <laughs> on the opposite side. You can't open the window totally, you can only like uh, move it forward but not on the bottom. It's a safety hazard so you don't jump out and die because nobody wants you to die. <laughs> it's hard to close but now it's closed. Then we move on to the bedroom, which is a very dark room now. There is a light switch um, on the outside of the bathroom. There is also, which I forgot to say, there is also a, a thermostat on the outside of your bathroom for your uh, room itself. And there is a thermostat inside for your bathroom. So you can have two temperatures. You can choose. There is a, here a big mirror. There is a small mirror which has, if it wants to work because it doesn't, which has some lights built in. There is a toilet as normal. <laughs> toilet paper and some cleaning or some baggage for the uh, ladies who wants to stay here. There are two towels for two people. There is um, hand soap above. There is no toothbrush, it's mine and my toothpaste. Uh, there is a small garbage can. There is this, which is just a 
charger, but closed off for safety hazards. There is also a charger next to the uh, toilet, which is a bit uh, weird, but okay. There is this beautiful art, um, and Sarah was here. It's all in the print, so it's not like somebody wrote it there. And then there is this uh, beautiful thing in the shower, I don't know why. But it's a good shower, um, or I will say in a few minutes, because I will to shower now. There is a towel in the shower, there's a towel bar in the shower, which is good. Uh, there's a hair dryer, which is also good and nice to have. Um, it's in a bag, I don't know why. I will open it. So this is the hair dryer. It has a very long cord. I don't know uh, why you should use it. It's from uh, Lava Kuh from Germany. Um, yeah, I, I normally never use a hair dryer, so I can't say if it's a good one or not. But it's a hair dryer. So I forgot to mention that there's also this chair which isn't a comfortable chair, it's more like of the beauty of the room, to make it more beautiful. Uh, I wouldn't use it, but if you really want to, you can. But it's not a good chair, because you need to put a cushion on it to make it a good chair. So, in general, there are a couple of things with that which I would, um, of which I would consider this hotel to be good or not good. First of all, it's a service, it's downstairs, it's really, uh, I showed you in the beginning with another camera. Then the second is the, is the sleeping area, this is the room itself. Um, the breakfast, but I didn't take breakfast so I will not judge on that. And the accommodations, so the accommodations around the hotel. So the accommodations around the hotel aren't uh, really so good because uh, there's not a lot of things to do here. But you're very close to the main station, the Hauptbahnhof. There is also a, a little park downstairs, but in general there's not like you could say like oh we go outside and we drink something because I don't know if there's a lot of cafes around here and didn't see anything or on Google Maps didn't see anything either. But you're very close to the central station which are which is then very close to the central uh, center itself. So that's good. Then uh, so I would give it a three out of five stars. For this room, I would definitely give it a, a 4 out of 5, even maybe 4.5 out of 5. The bed was very comfortable, I slept very well on it. It's um, not like my bed at home, but it's a very expensive bed, so I can't compare it with that. This chair that was here, um, which is now used as a tripod, uh, <laughs> isn't as comfortable. The TV was uh, working uh, kind of working so not the best but it works you have a lot of sockets power sockets to uh, charge your phones i mean there are five only in this area without the bathroom the bathroom itself is very nice the, the mirror is really big you can see everything on it there is a nice toilet which is was clean everything was clean when i entered which is also important the shower itself can have a bigger uh, window because now the towel on the ground was wet as hell because all the water came over it, but that's another question. There's also a big mirror here which is really nice, so I would give this a 4.5 out of 5. The service downstairs is uh, great, it's amazing, they are very friendly, they explain everything to you, everything how to use it. And another great thing about this hotel is that they have these cards with a free drink on it. Um, if you hang this outside, if you stay here for two nights and you get a free drink um, after the first night, if you hang this outside, to just say to the cleaning ladies that don't clean here. And they will also donate one euro to the Nader Etterman Foundation, which is good for the environment, which they say. Um, and you need to stay for two nights, which is normal. Because if I hang it here and I wait till the cleaning ladies are done, because I'm only staying here for one night, then it's a bit of ridiculous in my opinion. Um, yeah, and that's it. There's a fire alarm, there's water sprayers on top of the roof. And that's another thing, the curtains go over each other, which is good.
for the night so you don't have uh, a lot of light coming in and the windows are very uh, sound sealed but uh, there isn't like a lot of movement downstairs in the street it's not like a busy street see here so that's also a good thing I think the maybe then give the accommodation around the place a three and a half because there's not a lot of people driving by and in the city center there are a lot of people driving by so I would think give it a three and a half a four and a half for the room and a four and a half or even five stars for the reception because they're very kind very friendly and I will now check out so um, I will take you downstairs and you will see that there's a uh, self-checkout and a self-check-in, but don't do the self-check-in, just go to the uh, guys at the bar in the beginning of the reception, I mean, just just go to the reception, they're very friendly and they will help you in any way possible. So yeah, the, I hope for this room tour you have something and I hope you enjoyed my explanation about it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So I changed cameras, so now you can see I have this small 360 camera, which is handier uh, when I'm walking around. And um, I'm gonna leave the room here. So I've seen everything here, I think. I also tried out this Bluetooth speaker that's here on the side. And it works perfectly, and it's really nice. It has a lot of. It's, it's not the best speaker, but it's uh, bassy enough. Um, I will turn this to 15 again. You can also shut it off. But I will put it on. Take my card out. Everything will be dark. And let's go. I will take this camera because it's way smaller. <laughs> This is the hotel from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> 